Hello and welcome to Cooking Studio. Today we are doing a dish made up of corn cob. It's a surprise. Keep watching the recipe. You'll come to know what is it. So here is the corn cob. Now we need to take out the corn kernels in a plate. The basic three ingredients we would be needing for making this recipe is corn cob, tomatoes, onion, ginger, garlic and green chilli. So let's start. You can buy the packet also. Nowadays at the vegetable vendors we get the packets also of corn kernel. You see it has to be soft. The milk should come out from the corn. Milk is coming. Now blend it in the blender. We need not put any water in it as corn has its water content. So let's make a puree of it. See perfect. Now let's take it out in a bowl. So our corn puree is ready. Now we will add one tablespoon of oil, any refined oil you wish to take, half cup of water, give it a stir. Now add a little turmeric around two to three pinches, little salt according to taste, stir it once, mix it well. We'll add one fourth cup of gram flour that is basin, give it a stir. Keep stirring it. There should be no lump. You need to fill in air in it. Take a ring. Add water. Half The ring should be half dipped. Place a plate on top. Put around a spoon of oil. Grease it well. Now place the batter on the plate. You need to steam it for 10 to 12 minutes on medium flame. Cover it and let it get steamed. Green chilies. Let's cook. Add just a spoon of oil in it. Onions. Tomatoes. Green chilies. Ginger garlic. Bay leaf. 2 cardamoms, 4 to 5 black peppers, 3 to 4 cloves, 1 cinnamon stick, half glass of water, salt to taste, little red chilli powder to 6 cashew nuts. Cover it and cook it for 15 minutes on low flame. Let's check. Done. You can see the skin coming out of the tomatoes. Switch off the flame. And let it rest for 10 minutes, then we'll make a fine paste of it. Take out the skin of the tomatoes. Now it's cooled down, we'll make a puree of it. Add this. I have taken out the bay leaf. Now, if you want your gravy to look like restaurant style, add two pieces of beetroot to it. Chukandar, that is called beetroot. Now let's make a puree of it. Let's check the puree. Perfect. See, amazing color it has. Now let's cook it. Add two spoons of oil, half spoon of turmeric, one spoon of coriander powder, half spoon of red chili powder, that's deghi mirch, one spoon of uh, fenugreek leaves. Add a sip of water. See, perfect color of the tarka. It looks nice. Let it cook for a few seconds. Time to add our tomato, onion, and beetroot puree. Mix it okay. Should not waste, add a little water and then add it to the puree. Cover it, cook it for 5 to 7 minutes on medium flame. Cover it. See, give it a stir. Cover it again and let it cook. Add 2 cubes of butter in it and 2 spoons of cream. 
coffee, the perfect gravy. Lower the flame. Our gravy is ready. Now it's time to put our corn cakes in it. After 15 minutes, let's check. See, perfect. Take a toothpick, put it in between. It's sticking. If it's sticking, then you need to wait. We'll take another three to four minutes to cook, cover it and cook it. See, it's done. Now we need to let it rest. Then we'll add it to the gravy. Let it cool down. Now cut it on the desired shape you want. See? They're soft. Now we add it in the gravy. Your corn cakes. Now mix it well with the light hand. Now add half cup of milk. We'll be adding little milk to it to make the gravy little soft and flowy. It has thickened down. Perfect. Add a dollop of butter, little cream on top. Now let's serve it. Let's do the plating. Do try the dish, it's really yummy and healthy. Ek hari mirch to. Gravy dalu ki aise ye dikhne do corn cakes. Our dish is ready to serve. Our dish is ready to serve. Serve it with roti or paratha. And if you like the recipe, like, share and subscribe. And for any query, DM me at my Instagram handle Priyanka underscore Bhatia. Do try the dish. It's really yummy. Enjoy.